Hey guys, welcome to the idyllic Zanzibar Serena Hotel. I am so happy to be back on the road with this one. It's been such a great journey so far and there's gonna be so many more interesting things. And actually, see. on that note, this video today is about traveling with someone and some of the travel etiquette tips, things that you should or shouldn't do, other things that you may be doing when traveling with your friends that may piss your buddy off. Yes. Or Hashtag are you good? travel buddies. Yeah, because it's a tricky slope that you know, you never know. From like having a great time to, oh my god, I'm done with this trip, is like, don't zero talk seconds. to me. <laughs> yeah. So sure. here are some of the things that you should do. Uh, next time you're on a trip with your girlfriend or your guy friend or whoever it is that you like to travel with. Do you want to go first? Okay, so number one, don't wait until it's bubbling over. Like if you have an issue, if I have an issue with her, let's be real immediately. Let's nip it in the bud straight away because the worst thing that can happen yeah. is you let it kind of Fester for the yeah. next few days, and your amazing, you know, vacation it's or adventure is totally ruined. Yeah, and know. then maybe your friendship could be ruined. I afterwards. know, which wasn't the point of the trip, I bet. So just that's so good. Be honest with your friend. My point would be respect each other's time. Now I know it's not like we're military, and it's like if you said 8 a.m., then literally 8 a.m. Yes. Everyone is there and it's it's fine to be five minutes late, give or take, but yeah. let someone know that you're running late and B, just respect someone's time at the yeah. end of the day. Like, there's no need to keep someone waiting for 13 minutes if there's no excuse. Like, exactly. just stick to what you guys said. On that note, be realistic with your friends. For example, if I am a stickler for time, then Sharon will know, okay, Susan is a stickler for time. Maybe someone else is always inherently running 10 to 15 minutes late, like yeah. whoever it may be. Then work with that and know that that person is like that. So kind of be proactive. I mean, you guys are friends. Like she said, it's not military, yeah. but you need to work yeah. together. A bit of give and take. So flexibility is key. Have some flexibility, but be realistic with each other. My next one is money. Money is a sensitive thing. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Do you, marriages fall apart because of money? Families break up because of money? Let me tell friendships will break up like this if you do not respect each other's money. Totally. Now, when the bill comes and you start looking like, oh, actually, I needed uh, the bathroom. I'm, I'm actually, gonna you know, now. let me, <coughs> I'm busy, let me pick yeah. up. No. When the bill comes, do the right thing and cater to your own bills. Unless, of course, it was agreed that this trip is catered to by someone. Please don't need things like money and bills to to just the universe and yes. out in the air, like the air will just sort it out. But even in, in terms don't of this that. trip, yeah, some things are catered for and some things are not. It's good to be upfront about yeah. it and clear it up immediately because exactly. again, going back to tip number one, it could fester. And money, I mean, just respect you, like respect your friends and don't assume that they will just cater yeah. to the bill. And if, if your friend was like, hey, I'll, I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll cover this bill, yes. then cover the next. Or if they said, oh, it's fine, I'll cover it now, you can pay me back later, remember to pay them back later. So my last tip is, just because you travel together, it doesn't mean you have to spend every single living moment together, okay? Like, I know, I know that this is like a bonding trip, yeah. but everyone needs their alone time, so be considerate of each other's needs, wants, and, and things that they want to do on the trip. Maybe yeah. I want to go to museums, maybe Sharon wants to go shopping. Be considerate of each other, and if there's not enough time, it's okay to do things by yourself. Exactly. Be an adult. If you wanted to go to the spa, do it. If I wanted to cuddle with my boo, do oh, it. <laughs> Do it, exactly. But you don't have to be like joined at the hip. Yes. See? See, we're not joined no. at the hip. See, there's a chair, arms. Don't, arms. don't take it too personally. Yeah. Everyone needs their space. Exactly. My last one has to do with technology. Now, I know we can oh. sometimes get carried away and, and be on our phones all the time. And that's not ideally what you want to do on the trip. You just want to be in the moment. But you want to capture these memories. So if you can, Find yourself like an old, like film style uh, camera, or what are these ones called where you... The Polaroid. Yes, Polaroid camera. And you get to capture instant moments right there and then. Tangible. I think that would be the best. If, if, I, if I've got one tip, try and get yourself a Polaroid camera and run with it. Because then those funny, drunken moments, those hilarious falls, oh those blurs, whatever it is, yes. those 
cute men who were at the corner that you were trying to sneakily, you can capture those moments and have them forever and split yes. them right there and there. You have the pictures with you guys. I love that. Actually, that reminds me of a trip that I took to France once and I have some major evidence on some people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're on my fridge. Uh, that, actually, that should be tip number extra. <laughs> seven. Do not use these things that happen against your friends. Whatever happens on a trip stays on a trip, okay? Anyway, that's it. Those are our tips. Next time you're traveling with a friend, try and be considerate. Uh, like Susan said, if there's something that's bothering you, I think that's the main one. Yes. If there's something that's bothering you, just share it. Because you're in closed confines for a, a specific amount of time, so it's very intense. So even feelings and emotions can get way extreme. Yeah. Um, so just be mindful of that. But anyway, remember to subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification button below so you don't miss any of these amazing videos. And, and like it if like yes. this video if you found it helpful. We'll two you. thumbs up. Like give give them one. <laughs> two thumbs up. What one for what? No, you, you're one and I'm two. Okay, fine. Right, right, two. I see you. Two, I see two you. thumbs up. See you in our next video, guys. Bye. Check out our two cents playlist for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.